So speaking of different asset classes, I want to go back to what Francesca was saying about uh, how um, you know uh, the, the private equity or venture capital industry is now using alternative data. That's a fairly new phenomena. You know, if we compare it to you know sort of traditional, if such a thing exists, uses of alternative data, which have typically been in you know long short discretionary funds, some in you know macro equity funds. Um, you know, uh, more and more so in quant funds, even though it's, that's really difficult to do. Um, but, you know, this use case of it um, being used outside of public equity um, is, uh, you know, I think for most of us, except for you on this panel, is going to be pretty foreign. So um, as much as you can, can you go into um, how, um, you know, how VCs use alternative data, what they're looking for, you know, what they're looking for, what insights um, you know, and if to the best of your ability compared to how um, public equity portfolio managers use it. Um, so you're right. It's a, it's a kind of a new thing, um, depending on like the funds that you're speaking about and the time frames that you want to look at. It's definitely not like a 25 year trend. It's, a, it's more something that pop up like in the last 10 years or so, um, different degrees of intensity. And the main thing to remember, which is the reason why this entire thing exists and is, um, you know, prospering these days, is that we don't have a Bloomberg terminal. Not because we cannot buy them, but because there is not like Bloomberg for startups, right? So you guys have somehow like that base, like that baseline of unique source of truth. So the price is the price, the balance sheet is the balance sheet. That's the thing. For startups, you know, there are data sets that are better than others, but there is not like that unique thing that you can open like every single morning and get an entire snapshot or picture of one company. So the the main reasons for these providers to exist is that they need to fill those gaps. And those gaps are not going to get filled for the first stages of the company for the first few years. So different providers find different ways and different proxies to optimize for specific gaps, which is why you buy different data sets like in the first place. Um, I, can't, I cannot really speak for PEs because P, like PEs is a different type of business and way of working. For venture, if you, if you structure the venture process in four or five different steps, you have sourcing, screening, due diligence, trying to win investments and post-investment support, right? Different funds do different things. The majority of the people use alternative data for sourcing and for screening. So the, the main question that everyone ask, um, ask himself is, where is the next Facebook is coming from? What do I need to invest next? Clearly, again, all these models are probabilistic models. No one tells you like the truth hundred percent. You still need to make like a, you know a call on that specific company, market, product. Um, but the majority of people, there are people that are using it to help more portfolio companies. People that use it to win a deal. People that, especially these days with GPT and LLMs, blah blah blah. The, there has been investors that have been like using it for due diligence purposes, right? Especially if you are like a smaller fund that cannot like afford an army of like 10 associates, you try to make some of those things like in a streamlined fashion with GPT. Um, but the majority of funds use it for sourcing reasons. And it's like, you know, I noticed as spike in GitHub stars, is that an interesting company or not? And I mean, like, this is me being provocative. We know that this is not good enough, but... Uh, these are like the type of signals that you try and like to look around for. And again, you identify the company and somehow you have ways to surface specific companies versus others. Um, but that, that's like the main use case that you usually get asked to when you, at least when you start this process, right? The moment that you understand that you build the, um, the different use cases, you understand like the value in data, blah, blah, blah. You start doing more and more things on top of it. But usually there's like, you know, day zero. It's like, okay, you have like five different data sets, uh, Android variables, find me something. Speaking of alpha decay, I wonder how many people uh, from the audience will walk away and everyone had the access to the same panel with an idea, oh, Bloomberg for startups. That's something that we should build. 
right? So in that respect, um, I think that the the uniqueness of the of the industry here uh, for Francesca is um, you have a very clear reversal of I need to start from hypothesis and dig what are the data sources that are satisfying uh, my need for information or for extraction of, of alpha uh, in this case. Uh, what are the indicators that will identify whether the startup is going to make it or break it? Uh, and that includes uh, a lot of specific alternative data. The markets are not in a good indicator. Uh, starting from social media profiles of the founders, how credible is the team, how they perform their time, what, what are their ages, what they do in the spare time and so forth, like competitive uh, landscape. Competitive landscape is a super interesting stuff in alternative data. Um, there are several providers that do that, but um, ESG, you know, once you dive into a certain sector like ESG, uh, there are startups today that uh, provide, um, they collect um, carbon foot, like they can collect pollution data which is the ground truth. And then it's an independent valuation of, well, whether the idea is gonna fly or not, or whether the, um, you know, an equity is going to uh, perform well, uh, just because their ESG parameter is not great. So um, I think that's, that's kind of the, the, the it's an it's a indefinite possibility, but rather going from what's the outcome to what's the data source that matched that uh, is important.